All right, hello everybody. So my trusty microscope Skeeter and I are gonna show you a capsule stain today. So a capsule stain is an example of a negative stain, as you'll see later, where you can't actually stain the structure you're trying to see, you stain everything else, you stain the background. So probably the most important capsule. So the capsule is a structure that bacteria can have that greatly increases their virulence, which means that it makes them much more dangerous and potentially much more pathogenic. So Streptococcus pneumonia is probably my favorite example. Favorite's a bad word, but uh, uh, Streptococcus pneumonia, if it doesn't have a capsule on it, isn't even a pathogen. If it has a capsule, it is, and currently Streptococcus pneumonia kills about 1.4 million humans a year. So it's a major, major problem. So being able to identify them is important, and we'll sh I'll show you the capsule stain here today. So we're looking here at the scanning power, the 4X objective, so just kind of tweaking it, making sure it's in focus. Moving on to the low power, the 10x objective, and you're starting to see those pale, uh, those white areas throughout the slide. That's gonna be the areas where there isn't any stain. So I'm just gonna tweak it here, make sure it's in focus. All right about there looks really good. Then I'm gonna go to the high dry power, the total magnification of 400x. I do have to change the lighting a little bit so you guys can see this, so bear with me. And right here, we're actually starting to see some of these organisms and the capsules around them. So this is not Sobercoccus pneumonia. This is Flavobacterium capsulatum. This is an organism that we use just to, uh, to show you a good example of a capsule. All right, so now I'm going to move to the oil immersion objective. So if this is the first time you've seen me do this, the screen's going to go black because I'm actually going to go between the two objectives. I'm going to put a single drop of immersion oil on the slide. Then I'm going to slowly and carefully to make sure if the objective and stage are too close, the slide will break. So I'm going to slowly and carefully move the oil immersion objective over my slide. And then now let's try to take a look. So I'm going to have to tweak the lighting a bit so you guys can see it. And voila. So I'm going to move what's called the iris diaphragm a little bit. Just want to make sure I can get this tweaked as much as I can, the iris diaphragm is part of the condenser there for in almost all microscopes. So now let me find a really good area on the slide. A lot of this is just bubbles, but I'm just going to try to find a few more organisms for you to see. Okay, so that's the negative stain or the background stain that allows us to visualize the capsule by the fact that they're not being stained. So that is another example of how to use the oil immersion objective, and that is a capsule stain. So go out, get your microscopes whirring, uh, give them a nickname. I think that helps. And go find something to look at. All right. Have a wonderful day.